Hey guys, we want to thank Independence Brewery for helping us out with this. You know, we're really kind of dedicated to the micro brewers around town. These guys are in 200 different places. You should check them out. We check them out. Independencebrewing.com. Appreciate you guys helping us. Yeah, man. So I figured out by the time we play the game. Can I play? No. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do some brisket or something. We can do brisket. How about some wings? Can I play? You, 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 hold, just hold it. No, you're in the way. Salsa, that's what we need, some salsa. Mm -hmm. well, what's, wrong, wrong. what's wrong with this salsa? You, you've been holding it. Ain't no good no more. Oh. Guacamole. That's always good. Mm -hmm. I like guacamole. Potato pie. That's easy. Very yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. I like video games. Yeah, man. It'll be cool. All right? Uh, what, yeah, let's what, do this. What about my turn play games with y'all? Oh, you can play. We done now. You don't want to play sure? I'll be back. Didn't you hire DJ or something? Where's the deal? I oh. thought he was your friend. I thought he was your friend. He can be both of our friends. I don't want to fight about the, this. Oh, now he shows up. Thank you for showing up. Appreciate yeah, you. playing games by myself is awesome. It's great. What's going on, Pro? How you feeling, man? What kind of theme music are you feeling for today? We're talking, we're talking game day, baby. Oh, man. So, oh, uh, we're going to get it in today. We're going to get the clock and only kick it off, man. See, that's why we got the DJ. Everyone ain't got nothing on us, man. You know what I mean? DJ Protege, y'all, man. So listen, we're gonna do the guacamole first, all right? Sounds good. Can you hand me a real knife? This is not a real knife. You need a real knife. Can I please have a real knife? There you go, chef. Look at now, this movie. is a real knife. The, the ingredients are simple. Onions, avocados, jalapenos, little garlic, my man has got the uh, got a little bit of cilantro, so, cilantro in there. The purpose of the uh, you know it's, it's the color thing happening, but it's also the complexity of flavors. It's kind of cool with the uh, guacamole, sea salt as opposed to table salt. No, so anyway, <laughs> it's pretty simple. Great on you. DJ, so so, what's your favorite? What do you want, salsa or guacamole? Guac. Guac. I like it green. See, so let's make some, some guac. Let's make some guac. Let's kick in it too. Oh, definitely gotta have the jalapenos, you know what I mean? The first step, it's really easy, man. It's, it's, I like to keep things simple. Take the knife, cut it in a circle. You're gonna take your spoon, you're gonna pop out the seed. You're gonna take the spoon and just scoop it out of its sleeve. So I, I, I know you like following fruit. <laughs> Especially when it's soft. So while he's doing that, we'll get to the, uh, the onions. The onions, again, it depends on your preference. Proje, how do you like your guacamole? Chunky. Have you ever been to those places where they egg it on the table? No, that's okay. Um, I'm cutting up the cilantro. I'm just taking the whole chunk of cilantro here, the whole bunch, and just shaving it off the top to get a couple of these nice leaves out. And then once I've shaved them off the bunch, just chop them up a bit. We have the onions going. What kind of uh, ingredients do you use in your salsa first. Okay, I use jalapenos, poblanos, habaneros. I also use serrano peppers or Thai peppers. It really depends Raw on Raw or cook? Oh yeah, we cook them first. Oh, we gotta cook some stuff. Yes, we do. Theory about spicy food. See, you weren't here earlier when we came across the understanding. It's easier to do the garlic powder thing. It's cheap, go to the store and pick it up. And it works, you know what I mean? Even though it's easy and you can just shake it into your recipe, I always go with the fresh garlic because it's good for you, keeps the vampires from biting your neck. So, that easy. We, we, exactly. We add the, uh, the salt, the pepper, the cumin, and you got... you mind if I squeeze a little lime in here? And lime is always good because it cuts through the, um, the creaminess of the avocado. So it sets off everything nice, gives it a little complexity of flavor. The easiest way to do this is with a fork. 
So tell me about the uh, uh, sauce. What's happening with that? Well, after we're done with the guacamole and our DJ has given his uh, vote of approval, then we're going to roast some peppers right here on the stove in a cast iron skillet. We're going to blacken them on every side, blend them up with some onion, cilantro. It's going to be a great complement to the guacamole.